मैसेज करता तरी जातो आय एम फ्रॉम एजम कॉलेज का इन प्रिवियस व्हिडिओज वी हॅव लर्न अबाउट लॅग्रांजेस मीन व्हॅल्यू थेरी इन टुडेज व्हिडिओ वी लर्न अबाउट नेक्स्ट ॲप्लिकेशन फ्रॉम ॲप्लिकेशन ऑफ डेरिवेटिव्ह इज इन्क्रीजिंग अँड डिक्रीजिंग फंक्शन इन्क्रीजिंग अँड डिक्रीजिंग फंक्शन you learn that function is increasing that is as x increases y is also increases uh, that type of functions are called as increasing function and when x increases and y is decreases then such a type of functions are decreasing function i can explain here consider a function y is equal to e of of x consider that a function is increasing so i can draw the graph of that function as like this y is equal to e of x look at here these are values of x i can write here value of x is x1 here is value of x is x2 and for that value of x1 there is a point x1 comma e of x means this distance is one e of of x1 and then for the value of the x2 there is a point on the curve x2 comma f of x2 means that the value is f of x2 so for increasing function yes for x1 less than x2 e of of x1 is less than e of of x2 we can clearly see here here is the f of x1 and here is the f of x2 f of x1 is less than f of x2 for decreasing function i can draw a graph of y is equal to f of x which is a decreasing so graph is like this y is equal to e of of x here x axis y axis and this is origin there are two points x1 and x2 on x axis such that x1 is less than x2 clearly x1 is less than x2 and here is the value of x1 is f of x1 the coordinates of the points become x1 comma f of x1 so this uh, value is f of x1 this distance is f of x1 and for that point since x2 is lies on the curve so it satisfies the equation of the curve by property of locus y is equal to f of x2 it means that x2 is abscissa and its ordinate is f of x2 so this distance is denoted by f of x2 and we clearly see here f of x1 is greater than f of x2 so these are the conditions of increasing function and decreasing function in this video we learn about application of derivative so i can explain what is the application of derivative in increasing and decreasing function so if i denote that x1 by x and another number by x2 by x plus h if i denote first number x1 as x and x2 as x plus h there is a slightly change where h is a small increment in x there is a slight change in x so x is such that less than x plus h x is less than x plus h for increasing function here we get the point x lies on the curve y is equal to f of x so value of the function at that point is f of x Well, the function is f of x. For that point, this distance is f of x, and for that point, f of x will become f of x plus h. It means that f of x and f of x plus h. Look at here, f of x is less than f of x plus h. So I can write here clearly. It is seen that f of x is less than f of x plus h. That is, f of x plus h is greater than f of x. taking f of x on left hand side therefore 
f of x plus h minus f of x is greater than zero. f of x plus h minus f of x is greater than zero. Dividing both sides by h, since h is an increment, so it is not equal to zero. H tends to zero, but h is not equal to zero. So f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h is greater than zero divided by h is again zero. Taking limit on both the sides as h tends to zero, limit as h tends to zero, f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h is greater than zero. But that limit of the function is uh, any number greater than zero, or it may be zero. So I can write here greater than or equal to zero. So what is this from? First principle of derivative, we say that it is nothing but f dash of x, and when f dash of x is greater than or equal to zero, then we say that your function is increasing. This is the condition for increasing function. f dash of x is greater than or equal to zero. For increasing function, you remember only fact that f dash of x derivative must be positive greater than or equal to zero similarly in this decreasing function if i can denote that x1 by x and x2 by x plus h since x is lies in that curve so that point must be x from y f of x so y is not f of x so this point is f of x and x plus h is also lies on that point uh, that curve so this value that point becomes coordinates at that point becomes f x plus h comma f of x plus h and this is nothing but f of x plus h that is f of x plus h is nothing but f of x plus h so here i can write instead of x1 there is x and instead of x2 there is x plus h look at here for value of a is f of x1 is this and value of x plus h f of x plus h this f of x is greater than f of x plus h so here I can write f of x greater than f of x plus h for decreasing function so I can write f of x plus h is less than f of x a is greater than b it means that b is less than there Taking f of x on the left hand side, f of x plus h minus f of x less than zero. Dividing both sides by h. Therefore, f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h is less than zero. Taking limits on both the sides as h tends to zero. Taking limit on both the sides as h tends to zero. So limit as h tends to zero. f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h is less than zero. Sometimes that limit is also zero, so I can denote this as limit as h tends to zero. f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h is less than or equal to zero. So what is this? From first principle, I can say that it is f dash of x. f dash of x is less than or equal to zero. So it means that this is the condition for decreasing function. When f dash of x is less than or equal to zero, f dash of x is less than or equal to zero, then we say that the function is decreasing. We say that the function is decreasing. So here are the two uh, applications for increasing function and decreasing function. If derivative is positive, then function is increasing, and if derivative is negative, then function is decreasing. We saw we saw some examples here. First example is check whether the function check whether the function is increasing or decreasing. Where f of x is equal. To. Here is first example. f of x is equal to x cube minus six x square 
एक्स क्यूब माइनस सिक्स एक्स स्क्वेयर प्लस ट्वेल्व एक्स माइनस सिक्सटीन प्लस ट्वेल्व एक्स माइनस सिक्सटीन फॉर ऑल एक्स बिलोंग्स टू आर मींस वी हैव टू चेक दैट द फंक्शन इज इंक्रीजिंग और डिक्रीजिंग फॉर दैट आई कैन राइट हियर इन सोल्यूशन गिवन your form x is equal to x to minus 6x squared plus 12x minus 16 for all x belongs to r we study if derivative is positive then function is increasing and derivative is negative then function is decreasing so i can differentiate that function with respect to x differentiating with respect to x what we get here Your dash of x is equal to derivative of x cube is 3x square minus 6 into derivative of x square is 2x plus 3 into derivative of x is 1 minus derivative of 16 is 0. So I can write this as 3x square minus 12x plus 12. Taking 3 common, we write this as taking 3 common x square minus 4x plus 4. Which is nothing but I can write this as x minus 2 bracket square. Since first term is square of x, third term is square of 4, and middle term has sign minus. So it is a perfect square of which term? It's x minus 2 bracket square. x not x minus 2 bracket square. x square minus 2x into 2, that is minus 4x plus 4. So here is the f dash of x. But I don't know if f dash of x is positive or negative. But I know that square of a real number is always positive or zero. Since square of a real number is always positive. Therefore, I will write here x minus 2 bracket square is greater than or equal to 0. x minus 2 bracket square is greater than or equal to 0 since it is a square of x minus 2. Square of a number is always positive, so x minus 2 bracket square is positive. Multiplying both sides by 3, therefore 3 into x minus 2 bracket square is greater than or equal to 0. 3 into x minus 2 bracket square is greater than or equal to 0. But what is this? This quantity is nothing but f dash of x. This quantity is nothing but f dash of x. So f dash of x is greater than or equal to 0. Therefore, I can say here, derivative is positive. So function is increasing. So f of x is an increasing function for all x belongs to r for all x belongs to r take another example here verify whether f of x is the increasing function or decreasing function where f of x is equal to f of x is equal to 2 minus 3x plus 3x square 2 minus 3x plus 3x square minus x cube minus x cube for all x belongs to R. Here the question is check the function is increasing or decreasing function. Check the function is increasing or decreasing function. For increasing function, f dash of x is positive. For decreasing function, f dash of x is negative. So, first find the f dash of x. For that, I can write here solution as given f of x is equal to 2 minus 3x plus 3x square minus x cube for all x belongs to r. Therefore, differentiating that function with respect to x, we write this as f dash of x derivative of f of x is f dash of x derivative of 2 is 0 minus 3 constant derivative of x is 1 plus 3 constant derivative of x square is 
x minus derivative of x square x cube is 3x square. So after simplification, I can write this as minus 3 plus 6x minus 3x square. Taking minus 3 common. Taking minus 3 common. So here is what? 1 minus yes 2x and here taking minus 3 common you can see there is a term of x square. I can write this as minus 3 into x square minus 2x plus 1 x square minus 2x plus 1 and which is the perfect square of which term? Minus 3 into first term is square of x last term is square of 1 and middle term is 2 times of first into second which has sign minus so it is a perfect square of x minus 1 square it is a perfect square of x minus 1 square it is our upper dash of x minus 3 into x minus 1 square now we know that since square of real number is always positive Therefore, I can say square of a real number is always positive. Therefore, I can say here x minus 1 bracket square is greater than or equal to 0. x minus 1 bracket square is greater than or equal to 0. Multiply both sides by minus 3. Therefore, minus 3 into x minus 1 bracket square which is less than or equal to 0. By rule of uh, inequalities, if we multiply inequality by minus sign, then inequality suddenly changes. What is this? This term is minus 3 into x minus 1 bracket square is nothing but f dx of x. So therefore, I can say here f dx of x is less than or equal to 0. So derivative is negative. Derivative is not negative. When derivative is negative, then we say that therefore f of x is an sorry is a decreasing function since derivative is negative for all x belongs to r now moving to our next question next question is check whether the function is increasing or a decreasing function where f of x is equal to here I can write here f of x is equal to x minus 1 upon x for all x belongs to one okay, for all real numbers except x is not equal to 0 except x is not equal to 0 so look at here in this example given is what in solution I can write given f of x is equal to x minus 1 upon x and from checking uh, the condition of increasing and decreasing function from application of derivative we know that f of uh, derivative of f of x that is f dash of x is positive then function is increasing and if f dash of x is negative then function is decreasing for that I find here derivative of the function differentiating with respect to x when we differentiate both sides with respect to x we get derivative of f of x is what f dash of x is equal to derivative inside the derivative there is subtraction separate the derivative sign derivative of x is 1 minus derivative of 1 upon x is minus 1 upon x squared it becomes 1 plus 1 upon x squared it becomes 1 plus 1 upon x squared what is this? f dash of x f dash of x is equal to 1 plus 1 upon x squared so we know that since square of a real number is positive square of a real number is positive therefore I can write x square is greater than or equal to 0 x square is greater than or equal to 0 taking reciprocal 1 upon x square is also greater than or equal to 0 but uh, when x is 0 
when x is zero, denominator is zero. That term is not defined. So here is that condition: x is not equal to zero. So one upon x square is greater than zero. Therefore, adding one to both the sides, it means that one plus one upon x square is greater than or equal to. Or it is clearly greater than zero. It is one that is greater than zero. So I can say here, therefore, your fraction of x. That term is nothing but your fraction of x. I can say here, your fraction of x is strictly greater than zero. Strictly greater than zero means function is positive. Function is positive. It means that no, no, sorry, no, no, no. derivative is positive. It means that function is an increasing function. Therefore, I can write here. f of x is an increasing function for all x belongs to r except x is not equal to 0 f of x is an increasing function for all x belongs to r and that type of functions when f of x is strictly greater than 0 we say that the function is strictly increasing function So moving to our next question, question number four. So that the function, so that the function f of x is equal to x cube plus ten x plus seven. f of x is equal to x cube plus ten x plus seven. For all x belongs to R. For all x belongs to R is strictly increasing function. Is strictly increasing function. This question is for show that. And what is show that? Strictly increasing function. To show your form x is strictly increasing. So in solution I can write here given y of x is equal to given y of x is equal to what is y of x y of x is x cube plus ten x plus seven x cube plus ten x plus seven we learn about application of derivatives when derivative is positive then function is increasing and when derivative is negative Then function is decreasing. So I can find derivative here. Differentiating both sides with respect to x. Derivative of f of x is y of x of x. Derivative of x cube is three x square plus ten constant. Derivative of x is one plus derivative of seven is zero. This is written as three x square plus ten. Your potential of x is equal to. Now we know that square of real number is positive. Since square of a real number is always positive. Therefore. Which term is positive? X square is greater than or equal to zero. Square of real number is always positive. It is greater than or equal to zero. Okay. So for all real numbers, for all real numbers, square of real number is positive. Multiplying both sides by three, therefore, three x square is greater than or equal to zero. Three x square is greater than or equal to zero. Why we multiply by three? We have to check the average of x is positive or negative. For that, we are uh, taking here the average of x by adding. Now, adding ten on both the sides means three x square is greater than. Uh, sorry, adding ten means three x square plus ten is greater than or equal to zero plus ten is ten. It means that ten ten is greater than zero. So three x square plus three is k 
clearly greater than z. Fx square plus 10 is strictly greater than or equal to 0. Means 10, 10 is clearly greater than 0. So, Fx square plus 10 is greater than 0. What is Fx square plus 10? It is nothing but f dash of x. f dash of x strictly greater than 0. Look at here in this uh, state, we add 10 to both sides, LHS becomes 3x square plus 10 and RHS becomes, it's 10, 0 plus 10 is 10. So 3x square plus 10 is greater than 10, it means that 3x square plus 10 is strictly greater than 0. So, so here we get f dash of x is greater than 0, it means that from derivative is positive, derivative is positive, when derivative is positive, function is increasing function, but here derivative is greater than, strictly greater than 0, so I can say here, f of x is strictly increasing function, and which is to show f of x is strictly increasing function. So students, here are the examples on function to check whether the function is increasing function or decreasing function. I hope you understand today's examples on application of derivative to check increase, uh, function is increasing or decreasing. Thank you for watching the video. Okay.